All right, I've been curious to buy another fresh piece of wild salmon, and I bought a coho salmon today, and I wanted to do a background reading with my observer software because a commenter on my YouTube channel suggested I would be able to get a more accurate reading if I did a count. So I'm doing a 10 minute count on background and then a 10 minute count on the piece of salmon itself. Point four thirteen is is the high that I got on the micro sieverts an hour, and usually on the background that would be at about point one hundred. So it did actually go up about four times background. All right, here's the 10 minute test. Background, 600 seconds, that's 10 minutes. 381. Today is the 26th. Pretty much down on, down on the floor actually. There's another background, 10 minutes, Six, 10 minutes, 600 seconds, 390 count, 5 count high, there's my average, and that's what it looks like, and as you can see everything's towards the bottom, everything's down at the bottom. All right, 957 is what the high count I got on the salmon. So that is at least doubled, almost triple the background on the total count. So to me, it looks obvious that it's showing something is in the fish. Because if you look at the background, all the bottom readings are to the bottom and on the salmon itself they're all averaged above the bottoms here are the three background reading charts here's the second here's the third and now if you notice this is the first of the salmon. Here's the second. See how it's way busy. And there's the third. Those are the charts that I saved. So that's my conclusion is that it's picking up something. I don't know what specific isotope it is, but I believe that there is radiation in the salmon 
and it's spoiled. Background salmon. Background salmon. Background salmon. Background salmon. Background salmon. Background salmon.